Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about posing hands using 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. So in Clip Studio Paint, you know, you know you can have 3D models and poses and things like that. And you can pose the hands and everything. And this is a cool way to pose the hands. It has this little option here on the side. Um, and you know, you can move it around and things like that. It's kind of hidden, like uh, a lot of stuff in this program. Yeah. Uh, so let's say you are in the layer, you click on the layer, and you get this thing on the side with the different options. Uh, and it's here in the initial pose, you click this thing, and you get that. This is pretty much to control the hand. Like you can pose it and things like that. It makes it easy, it makes it easier to pose it actually can control it with you know by individually going to it and things like that but it's actually a lot easier just to go this and the way it works is like you see the little symbol here is like the fingers are together uh and then the fingers are like spread out on this corner and then in this corner is pretty much closed so you can kind of have like a combination of this like as you move it you wanna if you wanna put them farther apart and things like that. It also has this like four different options down here. And what that is, for example, this is like the fist. So you see, you know, if one is closed down, it is a fist. And then this one, you know, it has like a couple different ones. It also has these things uh, that you pretty much lock each finger. So this is like the, you know, so this is the hand, this is the thumb, you click here, so it locks it. And then you click, you know, let's say I click this three, the one, two, three, I click those three, right? Um, so they're locked, so they're not gonna move. So now when I move the hand, move this, um, you know, the, the position, it only affects the other ones, the ones that are not locked. So you can have, you know, so you can make a pose like really easy. And it's pretty quick. You don't have to go individually and like try to pose the hand, right? Uh, that would take too much time. So if you don't have anything selected, if whatever you do here, it affects both hands, right? But, but sometimes you don't want that to happen. And what you can do is, for example, you can click on the hand and it will only move that one. So if you want the hands to be a little like more unique, like more long fingers and things like that, you can go here and you know go all the way down to hand length and you know you move these things around. Some okay, something else uh, I should mention is that you cannot save the hand pose. Uh, as far as I know, I've been looking how to do it, and I think and I think you cannot do it. Uh, and maybe they add the the feature to save the hands alone uh, later because you can see here they have different hand poses that you can just um, drag. For example, if I have this, you can just drag it to the character, and you see you get that pose. It's pretty cool. Uh, you probably don't even need to make uh, new poses. They have like, uh, a good amount of. Uh, if you look at that, they have a lot different poses so you could just drag to your character like that uh, yeah but in case you want to make your own you know it's pretty it's still pretty easy with the controls and things like that so that's pretty much it for posting the hands uh, it's pretty simple and it doesn't take uh, a lot of time so that's gonna be it for the video thanks for watching guys see you next time Bye.